This is why they call it the Steeler Ship. Hey guys, welcome back to the joy of wrenching. I'm your friendly neighborhood mechanic, and today we've got something a little bit more serious to talk about. Today in the shop, we have a 2012 Honda Cross Tour. It's got a couple hundred thousand miles on it, but it's a well-maintained car and it's still going strong. Reason why it's here is because the owner of this car, my friend, took it to a dealership to have it serviced. He just needed an oil change. Do you know what that dealer told them they needed? $4,000 worth of repairs. $4,000. They came in for an oil change. So I'm a little fired up. I've already gone over this car and I want to take you guys along with me as we go through this list of things that the dealership said you got to do right now or it's going to burst into flames and you're going to die. I want you guys to see what happens and this is not all dealerships, okay? But I want you to see what can happen at some of these places that we know, maybe trust, maybe have gone to for years. And I just want you to know that if you go someplace, whether it's to the doctor and he tells you that you've got some sort of a diagnosis that's terrible, or to a mechanic shop and they tell you a terrible diagnosis about your vehicle, get a second opinion. And that's what we're going to do today. So come along and let's get into it. So here's the report that was given to my friend on this car. And uh, this is from a Honda dealership, and I've blanked out the name of the dealership so they don't sue me or something. And again, this is not every dealer. This is not every mechanic shop, but this is all too often in the industry. And I just, it, it makes me sick. But let's go through this. So the way this works is they've got a number of different things they're going to check on the vehicle. Multi-point inspection, they'll call it. Sometimes, you know, a 100-point inspection, 40-point inspection, something like that. And this is black and white copy that they got, but this would have been a green column, a yellow column, and a red column. And if there's an X in the green column, it means all good. If there's an X in the yellow column in the middle, it means, hey, we need to look at that a little closer or watch it. And if there's an X in the red column, it means, oh, this is really bad. You got to address this, okay? So we see here going through, there's quite a bit of green X's and of course a few yellow X's. But then we got a number of red X's. We've got one here for check fluid levels, oil, coolant, power steering, fluid, brake fluid, blah, blah, blah. Here's one for the drive belt, okay? And then here's another red X for engine oil or fluid leaks. So we're gonna look into these things. Let's go to the next page here. So on these pages, they go through in, in detail what they're saying needs attention. So on this car, this happens to be a six-cylinder car, but they say it needs a four-cylinder valve adjustment. Now, this engine, is, this 3.5-liter uh, V6, does need a valve adjustment every now and then, but I think it's funny that uh, they say it's a four-cylinder, and uh, unlike all of these others, which give a very detailed description of what's going on and the reason why it needs to be addressed, notice here, no reason, no description. Drive belt. Here's what the drive belt does. Here's the reason why we need to, uh, to uh, uh, pay attention to it. And they show a picture. That this is not a picture of this car. All right. Rear main seal. Replace the rear main seal. Wow, that sounds pretty bad. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, now we got a picture of our car. We've got a, a, a leak of some kind underneath the, uh, the car. Um, so we're going to look at that. And they say that's the rear main seal leaking oil. We got a brake flush they require. Okay, what else? Oh, there, there's a picture down into the brake reservoir. Oh, I, you know, I don't know what good that's going to do you. Um, no reason for why they say it needs to be done specific to this vehicle. Uh, cabin air filter. Okay, so they've got a picture of a cabin air filter with some debris in it. Uh, regular engine air filter, they've got a picture of one with some debris in it. Okay, transmission fluid change. Needs to transmission fluid flush, they say. Reason, 
uh, because if you don't do that every now and then, it's a bad thing. Picture of somebody that doesn't work here. Picture of an alignment machine for a wheel alignment. It needs a wheel alignment, they say. All right. And it's got a bad sun visor. So the, the sun visor hangs down a little bit, and they say it needs needs to be repaired. There's a picture of this car sun visor, and sure enough, it does hang down a little bit. Okay. But here's the, here's the kicker, guys. So you want to see the estimate that, these, that this dealership gave to my friend for these things? Look down here. $4,263. They went in for the oil change special. The special oil change. You think they sent them a mailer for a $50 oil change not knowing that they were going to try and get you when you come in there for all of these different things? This. This right here. That's why it's called the Steelership because these guys are committing highway robbery and you do not have to be the victim. Well, let's go through this car and see what it actually needs. Okay, so first on the list, oil change. They came in for an oil change, so that's, that's fine and dandy. Second thing, tire rotation, $25, all right. Tires do need to be rotated, and every time you get an oil change, okay, we'll give them that. Multi-point inspection performed during the, uh, during the uh, service interval. Okay, no charge for that, that's good. Four-cylinder on this six-cylinder car, valve clearance adjustment, $500. Wow. Okay, well, there's one we need to look at a little closer. So this is a Honda 3.5 liter V6 engine, and sure enough, it does every now and then need a valve adjustment and the valve adjustment happens underneath these valve covers on the front and the back of the engine. Now, in order to determine if it needs a valve adjustment, you need to know when it was last done, and then also if it's got any kind of lash between the rocker and the top of the valve. And so the only way to do that is to remove these valve covers and measure that uh, with some feeler gauges. Now, Obviously, this has not been touched. This has never been removed in, or at least not in any time soon, and definitely not recently as part of a service to figure out if it needs this issue. Another thing you need to know is that if the valves are out of adjustment, you'll hear a lot of clacking in the engine, like clack, 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 clack. And this engine runs nice and smooth and quiet. So there are indications that it probably doesn't need that. And of course, they put it in the red X column. Oh no, and so it needs it right now, and it's $500. Okay, next, next on our list here is a drive belt. It says it needs a drive belt change, $270. Oh my goodness, a drive belt probably costs about 30 bucks for this thing. Let's just go take a look real quick and see if this drive belt needs attention. So here's our drive belt right here, guys. And what we're looking for, and let me get a little bit more light on the subject. What we're looking for is if that drive belt has a lot of cracks on it. And where you're gonna look for that is right down in places like, like right here, where that drive belt goes around a pulley and gets the ribs exposed, okay? And what we're looking for is little, little cracks in those ribs, or maybe that these ribs are worn down almost flat, um, or maybe the, the belt itself is frayed in some way. None of those are happening here. And again, Mr. Dealer says, oh no, it needs that drive belt right now. Oh, and that, by the way, that's gonna be $270. And again, that drive belt, it costs about 30 bucks, and as you can see, I'm touching it. Getting to it, replacing it, is not that hard, guys. So many people think, you know, the dealer is the place to go. They know the most about these cars. They've got the best trained professionals working in their shop. They care about me as a customer. They want to treat me right, so I come back and buy another car here. Don't fall for that either, okay? these guys are there to make money and you do not want them to be making that money off of you um, on, on things that are, are not really necessary and so just be careful I highly recommend that you find a reputable 
uh, local mechanic shop or mechanic that uh, you can take your things to, get to know the people, and those are the people that are going to treat you right. Those are the people that are going to shoot you straight and not try to get their hands in your pocket all the time. So just be careful of this. I want you guys to know about these things. I know that you know it happens and you've heard stories, but I see it all the time and it really just irks me. So I wanted to make sure that you guys just keep in mind, if you get a bad diagnosis, whether it's your body or your vehicle here, just get a second opinion, okay? And, and be safe out there, guys. There's no reason for this. Okay, what's next on our list? We've just looked at the drive belt. Okay, replace the rear main seal. Rear main seal, oh my goodness. $2,300, $2,329 to replace the rear main seal. Let's go see how bad this rear main seal is leaking. Okay, so I got the car up in the air. Let's go under there and see just how bad this rear main seal leak is. Okay, so obviously there is a leak under here of some kind. We see plenty of evidence of an old leak of some sort of fluid right here, okay? And also there's an oil leak right here. And guys, I've already been under here. I wanna show you, when I saw this little bit of oil leak, I thought, well, maybe this seal right here uh, of the oil plug whenever they change the oil. Maybe that seal is, is, is no good anymore. Maybe I need to put another seal on there. No, look right here. You see that? This was a dealership. Oil change at a dealership. They forgot to tighten the oil plug. Is that, is that crazy or what? This is just this dumbfounding. All right, let's go back to where we started. We were, we were talking about the rear main seal. So here's our engine. Okay, and here's our transmission. Where those two come together right here, that's the rear portion of our engine. The rear main seal is between the engine and the transmission. And there's this little inspection plate right here. We can take this off and we can go up in there and look, but you, can, you don't need to do that really. If this rear main seal was leaking oil, this whole area would be soaked with oil and it would be flying back all over here. But that's not where we see the oil leak. The rear main seal is not where our oil leak is. We see a leak somewhere here on the transmission. And if we trace that up, where we see it is right there where the seal of this axle shaft right here goes into the transmission. So this does not need a rear main seal. It needs an axle shaft seal into the transmission and this is just transmission fluid that has weeped out over time and mixed with a little bit of dirt. So they were wrong. Okay, so what's next on our list here? Rear main seal? No. Replace the brake fluid. It needs a brake fluid flush. $160. All right, let's go see. Let's have a look at our brake fluid here. Now, it is true that brake fluid does absorb water over time and when it gets too much water in it it does need to be flushed so you can get one of these little cheap little brake fluid water test pins and you just stick that down in there and push the button and it'll tell you is it is it okay or it does it need to be changed and this one as you can see is okay so yet again there's this dealership telling them they need something they don't Okay, back to our estimate here. We looked at the brakes, brake fluid, it's fine. Coolant flush, $180, needs all new coolant. Does it? Probably not. I've looked at the coolant, it looks fine. Cabin air filter, engine air filter, fine. If they're dirty, you can bust, you can take them out, you can knock all the dirt out of them and use them again, blow them out, or get some new ones. You know, that's not a big deal. The parts price though on these things and the labor to put them in, they you know, they're gouging you every time you turn around here. I mean, these things are like $10, $15 a piece. Transmission fluid flush, $215. Does it need that? Probably not, but we can also look at that too. Alignment, four wheel alignment, $90. All four wheels need an alignment. Guys, when a car needs an alignment, what's one of the first telltale signs? 
your tires are wearing out on the inside or the outside or something. So let's just take a quick look at these tires. All right, so here's a passenger tire. Is it wearing out on the inside or the outside prematurely? No. Here's our driver's side tire. Looks pretty good. All four wheels need an alignment, it says. Let's go look back here. Oh, yeah, that one looks pretty good and even too. Oh, yeah, that one's just fine. Uh, man, it's just making me sick. So again, everything on that list, almost everything on that list, is not the dire circumstance that they try to make it out to seem, okay? This is why they call it the Steelership. So we just looked at those tires, they're fine, does not need a $90 alignment. Sun visor, replace the sun visor. Yeah, the sun visor's hanging down. You can get that sun visor probably online and put it on yourself way cheaper than that. You know, not gonna beat them up too bad over stuff like that, air filters, things like that. But things that were really outrageous here, we need to do a valve adjustment for $500 right now. We need a drive belt for $270 right now. We need to replace the rear main seal, which I showed you guys is not leaking, for $2,300 right now. Throw in a couple hundred bucks for a transmission service and uh, we'll, we'll fix that saggy uh, sun visor for you. $4,000. They went in there for the $49.95 oil change special. Let this be a lesson to all of us, right? These dealerships, shops in general, they're gonna send you a thing in the mail, a nice little flyer. It's one of the only things we still get in the snail mail, right? It says, oh, oil change special, $29.95, $49.95 in this case. And you think, man, yeah, that's a good deal because Jiffy Lube is, you know, 80 bucks or whatever, 100 bucks now. So you go in there. Why do you think they give you that special? Because when you get in there, they're gonna to try to do this. They're gonna try and show you, oh no, you gotta take care of all these things right now or else, again, car's gonna burst into flames and you're gonna die. So just like I said earlier, if you get a diagnosis that seems a little outrageous to you, get a second opinion, okay? Come to, you know, a, 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 a local shop that you, uh, you see is reputable, maybe some good references, somebody's used before, um, an individual that you know, like your friendly neighborhood mechanic, who can, can walk you through what something actually needs, show you actual pictures of your vehicle, and tell you why it's doing what it's doing, how bad it is, how long you can go before you need to address it, and what can happen if you don't address it. Don't be fooled by these guys. They are incentivized to sell, okay? The service advisor is incentivized to sell you more stuff. The mechanic out in the back of the shop, when he or she starts looking at your vehicle, if they can find more stuff, they're gonna go tell the service advisor who is gonna try and sell that job to you, okay? Don't fall for these tricks. The dealership, makes more money off of their service department than they do from selling cars. Let that sink in for a minute. The dealership makes more money off their service than they do from selling cars. That's why they do these sorts of things. And I'm not throwing any one dealership under the bus and there are a lot of really good dealerships and there are a lot of good shops out there and they have overhead. They got a big clean shop. They got a bunch of people, lots of insurance. They got a lot of tools and things they've got to spend money to maintain, to purchase. Um, so they got to make a living, but they do not, and you do not have to be the one to be rigged over the coals and, and squeezed dry. Your wallet does not need to be where their bills get paid from, okay? So if you get a big bill again, like this poor friend of mine here, get a second opinion. That's the moral of the story here, guys. I hope that uh, this was enjoyable. I hope you learned something today. And um, you know, the takeaway here is that the more informed we are, the better we can protect ourselves. 
try and find yourself a good local mechanic shop, mechanic, whatever, or watch my videos, watch other videos on YouTube, and educate yourself so that you don't fall victim to these kinds of scams. And that's exactly what it is. It's just a scam. They, they lure you in with the cheap oil change, they do their multi-point inspection, and lo and behold, we found a bunch of stuff wrong that you really need to do right now. Don't fall for it, guys. I really appreciate y'all tuning in today, and I hope that you do not become the victim of scams like this. And that's just what it is, it's just a scam. If you have fallen victim to this before, don't feel bad about it, but man, I'd love to hear about it. Leave us some comments down below about how you've been taken advantage of by these, these unscrupulous uh, mechanic shops. Um, let's, let's learn from this. Let's do better. Let's not fall victim to this sort of thing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that uh, this was, was informative to you guys. I hope that I've saved you a ton of money and a ton of heartaches in the future. Um, Y'all have a wonderful day, and God bless.